I'm trying to repair a, a Nick and Ralph file. And this is more complicated than the uh, previous previous example of a Canon RAW file. So I have a, a, a test that uh, this is my reference file. And um, again, I don't know really much about the uh, format other than that it, it, that it is a um, organized in a uh, TIFF structure, but I do not know a lot about that either. So then I again need to find a, a signature, something that I can recognize and identify in both the uh, reference file and the uh, uh, corrupt file. So um, what I do know is that uh, most raw photos embed um, previews uh, in JPEG format and that very often you have the the, the, the previews in, in the, towards the start of the file and then after the previews the actual raw content uh, continues. So this means if we find the end of the last uh, JPEG preview we should be close to the uh, start of the raw content. Uh, I don't know if you know it, but I'm going to tell you a JPEG always ends with the byte pair, pair FFD9. So what we can try to do is uh, uh, see if we can find this inside the, uh, in this case, the reference file. What was I doing? D9. But um, we can see w we have way too many hits. It, it needs to be a, a kind of um, uh, unique because otherwise the tool will not uh, know where to cut the file. And where, uh, how, which two parts it should glue together, part of the reference file, part of the corrupt file. So this is not a, a good uh, signature. I also know that uh, often these um, uh, these raw files uh, include stuff bytes. I call them. I don't know the official term, but it's basically a bunch of zeros that it uses to align the raw data uh, inside the file. So then what I could try to do is um, see if we can find a um, FFD9 marker followed with a couple of zeros. Hey, and now we see we get way less hits but still, if we go here, we see a fair amount of zeros. I cannot make a, a signature with that many zeros. This is basically, we, we get eight bytes to make a signature. This is how I made this. I, I could change that, of course, but. So we need to have a signature that is maximum uh, eight bytes in size. And here we have, the next hit also a couple of zeros and this is actually the place the the uh, end of a jpeg marker that uh, is right in front of the actual raw data if you browse through the files you will see nothing but this high entropy data no nice uh, structures with readable ascii so this is just high entropy raw data. Now, since I have two possible hits and I want to, to avoid the first one, we can actually tell the tool to skip a part of the file when looking for this uh, unique signature. And um, we can basically uh, export this list, which I have already done. This can go away now. And so then I get this. 
And uh, so these are the offsets in hex in, uh, for these signatures that are inside the file. So I want to have a position that's somewhere in between. And you can, um, I settled for uh, uh, 1 million bytes into the file. And then we need to convert this to hex, which I've done. And then I can just copy this here and paste this here. So this will be our offset. Uh, the tool will um, use from where it will accept um, the signature. And so the signature in front of it will be just ignored. Um, then we have the next problem. Uh, if we look at the actual corrupt file, and we go for the same signature again. It also finds two of them, but I go to the second one. Then we will find that the, uh, so this is basically the signature that was detected. And then we have a bunch of zeros again, like in the reference file, but it's a different number of zeros. So I cannot just assume that if I find the signature, we skip a bunch of zeros, a fixed number of zeros, and then um, um, to align this uh, raw image data again. So in the previous iteration of this tool, I basically had to uh, fill out the number of zeros myself. So basically just count the zeros in the reference file because we want to, uh, th this is our, uh, 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 this is our header. We were gonna use the header from the reference file. So we need to align the raw data the way the reference file expects it. So we need to, we, we would need to go back to the uh, reference file, count the number of zeros that separates the signature from the actual raw data. But um, I found that too uh, annoying. And uh, so I uh, tried to come up with a way to do this automatically. So we, we want to, tool to start uh, scanning from this uh, uh, offset. We want to um, scan it for uh, FFD9000. And we want the tool to automatically figure out this zero uh, stuff. Um, I need to think that if I'm doing this all properly. Uh, this will be our reference file. So I click that and it says, okay, I'll use, uh, uh, should say that. Maybe I didn't pro program that yet. Yeah, it's gonna use that as a reference. And then we're gonna repair this file. So basically we select this file. Did I click apply? Apply, you need to click apply for, uh, for it to uh, remember the rule. And then we click repair and now we'll, we'll go to the folder um, this is the corrupt file I should have shown this in advance but if you don't trust me then um, hello so this is the corrupt file and uh, raw digger will be unable to do anything with it. And now we go to the fixed folder, the tool created, and we go to the repaired file. And I, I hope it works, of course, because... And there it is. So uh, this is the uh, repaired raw file, and... Um, yeah, I'm just making progress little by little.